Cambodia is one of a number of countries where malaria has dropped to the point of making elimination a realistic goal. Cambodia has been classified by the World Health Organization as being in a control phase. Some parts of the country are even in a pre-elimination phase. However, over the last two years, there has been a rise in the number of malaria cases along the Cambodia-Thailand border that are not responding to treatment as quickly as usual. This supports the evidence that there is a new strain of the malaria parasite, Plasmodium falciparum, that is resistant to artemisinin, currently the most effective drug used in the treatment of malaria. Artemisinin is usually paired with another drug and they work together to kill the parasite. As the artemisinin is taking longer to reduce the number of parasites, the partner drug also struggles to finish off the job. As a result, it is proving harder to find an effective partner drug for the artemisinin. The resistance is very big concern for us. We have been working so hard with our counterpart and partner in Cambodia, try to contain all malaria resistant parasites in many different approach. In order to identify what the response to this growing resistance could be, Malaria Consortium has piloted a surveillance project using SMS technology to help prevent this resistant form of malaria from spreading further afield. Normally when the, the case has been detected, we end up using the SMS to us, to the system, and then the system alert to everyone. Include all of our field staff here, and then we know that, okay, where is the NDA from. As soon as we have identified the malaria patients, we can know, okay, and where the, the disease can spread to the other area. In a pre-elimination phase, it is crucial that screening for malaria becomes more focused. Hotspots of transmission are actively identified and a prompt response taken. The project used the identification of one positive case to screen entire households and surrounding neighbours who may still be carrying malaria parasites even though they may show no symptoms. When we have one case have been reported to our systems and we have to go directly and we test all the household members and then if some of them positive, we have to treat them immediately. Initial data showed that in one in six Cambodian households where malaria patients were diagnosed, other household members also harboured parasites despite showing no symptoms. Uh, the patient actually he the one, the positive. And when we found that, okay, he is positive, we, we need to check his family as well. Now we have his wife, we have his son, and then all is have been tested right now. As well as we have to screen the family and to screen the neighboring people in terms of um, the transmission among or inside the community. For every 15th case of malaria that's been detected, five neighbouring households are screened to make sure the disease has not been transmitted. Understanding how many cases of malaria without symptoms exist in households where malaria has been identified is a crucial part of helping to stop the spread of resistance. The pilot project aimed to develop an approach to identify people who have parasites in their blood and could potentially spread the disease without knowing. The SMS approach is now a well-established reporting tool in some pre-elimination districts of Cambodia and it will offer an approach to support the government's efforts to rid Cambodia of malaria for good. <laughs>